What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode we took care of a few side quests and ended off here at the Lumpy Pumpkin. In this episode, well, we're hopefully going to track down Levice and learn a little bit more about the Triforce, but um, in order to do that, we need to talk to the owner of the Lumpy Pumpkin because apparently he's like the only one here in Skyloft that knows how to go about locating and finding Levius. So, we're going to figure out how to do that, then make our way to the Thunderhead, and uh, see if we can't do it ourselves. So, what's going on, dude? What's the matter? You look like you've got something mighty serious on your mind. Actually, I kind of do. Levius? What about him? Sure, I know Levius well, but I wasn't aware anything was wrong. Every year I offer him an entire basin full of my pumpkin soup. But lately a huge thunderhead has been brewing there, and I haven't yet made this year's offering. I tell ya, I feel horrible about it. No. You say you'll deliver a pot of my soup to Levius? Huh? I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but... If that's the case, I'm gonna do everything I can to make Levius the best batch of soup ever. You wait right here, I'm getting inspired to fire up some soup like I've never souped before! Well, you do your thing, pal. <laughs> Voila! Here it is! I've been cooking this stuff for well over 10 years, and I have to say, this is the best batch of pumpkin soup I've ever created. Master, I will signal for the robot. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna be using Scrapper to carry this thing. Miss Fi, I'm here! Oh, this is another heavy load. But don't worry, I can carry anything. I'll be waiting outside. I can take you wherever you need to go as soon as you're ready. Alright, perfect. The place where I offer soup to Levias is inside the Thunderhead Cloud, on an island with an everlasting rainbow. Oh, you'll know when you see it. Good luck! Well, thanks a lot, friend. Alright, so yeah, obviously we've passed that island like a million times going in and out of the Thunderhead, so we know exactly where that is. And, um, a few guys have actually asked about that in the past, so now we're finally going to get our chance to land on that island and offer the soup to Levias. So, let's get going and make our way right into the Thunderhead ASAP. While we're flying over there, though, I do want to say something completely irrelevant because, you know, why the heck not? But, um, pumpkin soup sounds like one of the worst things ever, at least in my opinion. But, um, you guys have to understand, like, generally speaking, I just don't like soup whatsoever. Like, the only time I'll willingly eat soup is, um, you know, when I'm sick and when I'm not feeling very well. But, um, besides that, I will pretty much always avoid eating soup because, I don't know, man, it's like liquid food, you know? Basically, soup is just water, some sort of broth, and then you just throw a bunch of stuff into it, and it gets all soggy, and it's kind of gross. So, I personally just don't like soup. Also, on top of that, pumpkin... Not a fan of pumpkin either, so combining those two things together, um, I don't know, just seems really gross to me, but, uh, I guess that's just my opinion. Oh, by the way, um, I read this the other day in one of the comments that I got. Someone said that if you use a spiral charge into one of these tornadoes, it actually doesn't knock you off, so let me actually try that real quick, and you guys totally lied to me! What the heck, guys? Come on! See? This is why I have trust issues, guys, because I cannot believe anything you say. So, no, that doesn't work. Do not spiral charge into the tornadoes, because it will still knock you off. Thanks a lot, man. Alright, I cannot believe you guys lied to me in the comments, man. Come on. Alright, so, there is an island with the everlasting rainbow. Let's try and make our way over there as quickly as we possibly can. Thankfully... 
it is pretty close to like the entrance of the Thunderhead, so shouldn't take us too long to get over there. And um, the island itself is actually pretty small, so we made it safely. And don't you dare drop that pumpkin soup. Bad enough rain's already getting in it. I'm unloading this cargo of pumpkin soup here. You've picked an odd place for soup delivery. Feels dangerous. Something could jump out at us at any moment. Hungry for soup. Or robot. I don't think that's gonna happen, but you know, whatever. I'm out of here. See you around. Alright, well, thanks for the help anyways, Scrapper. And uh-oh. What could this be? Oh my gosh, it's huge! This is the Great Spirit of the Skies, Levias, and that's right, this is kind of a boss battle, so let's hop off this island before anything bad happens to us and take to the skies, because this battle has like two different phases, one in the air and one on top of Levias himself. For this first phase, what you want to do is um obviously target these giant eyes, so how you go about destroying them is by doing a spiral charge right into those eyes, and that will take them out. So. Right now, there are four eyes just sort of like sticking out of his body. Those are the eyes that we need to take out. This can be somewhat difficult just because the vice is pretty fast, so you do need to keep up with them. And on top of that, um, hitting these things while they're moving is not the easiest thing in the world, especially considering you're, you know, maneuvering using the motion control. So getting into like position to attack one of these eyes is. Not exactly easy, but if you get close enough, you should be able to hit it with a spiral charge. All right, you know, we got that one, so I'll take it. Two down, two to go. Not too bad. Um, earlier on in the game, I said, like, using the B button to slow down was entirely useless. Well, this is one of, like, the very few areas in the game where you actually may want to make use of the break because it does allow you to maneuver just a little easier around Levias' body. Also, if you touch any portion of Levias' body, you will take damage, so try and stay far enough away from his body, but still close enough to hit the eyes. Anyways, if we can get close enough here, this should be it, please. No! Alright, let's break and try this one more time. Come on, there we go. All four eyes are down, and now there is an eye appearing in, like, his, uh, center blow a hole I guess you could say so what you want to do now is uh fly up to the top and we want to land right on top of the bias and oh my gosh that was right on the edge holy crap that was close anyways now we're fighting the real boss so this is the ocular parasite bilocyte this guy is uh, pretty straightforward, really not too hard. He's going to spit out these weird, like, spiky balls. Just uh, slice them to the left or right. That way, they hit his um, weird, like, I guess you could say ears on the side of his face. And um, after you hit those, if you get close enough, you can charge up a Skyward Strike and uh, hit his center eye with that. Otherwise, you will have to wait for him to shoot out another one of those spiky balls. And uh, you can launch that back at his eye. But once he does fall down... And just go ham on that center eye and deal as much damage as you possibly can. You know, typical Zelda fashion, always attack the eye. I mean, I guess this one's slightly different in that um, you need to attack the ears first. Also, if you're having trouble, like, hitting the ears, just do, like, a regular horizontal slice to either the left or the right. Don't do any, like, diagonal slices or anything like that. Otherwise, it might send the spiky ball off in some like completely weird direction making this fight take a lot longer also i really need to stop like getting hit whenever his face pops down i always seem to like be way too close for whatever reason i guess i just assume that um he doesn't fall down that far but it does do like two hearts of damage which is kind of insane anyways though once you get to this part where uh, he starts shooting these spiky balls and dodging to either the left or the right you'll know that you're pretty much at the end of this fight. So, 
I believe right now, if you wanted to, you could still try to use the Skyward Strike to hit his eye. But, um, it's a little bit harder since, obviously, he is moving around. So, honestly, the best way to do this section is just by, um, using these spiky balls and hitting them with the correct slash. That way you send him in the direction where he's dodging to. And you can just keep dealing damage to his eye that way. And uh, no matter how much damage you deal to his eye, he will not, like, slam his face into the ground during this phase. So, yeah, pretty much the only way to damage him during this section is by uh, playing volleyball or nailing a few Skyward Strikes and dealing damage that way. I'm pretty sure both the Skyward Strike and the Spiky Balls do the same amount of damage. So, yeah, eventually he will go down just like that. Not too bad. Pretty easy fight, honestly, but um, I have heard of some people having trouble with that. So hopefully uh, that helped out just a little bit. Tell me, boy, was it you who brought me this most delectable cauldron of pumpkin soup? I must apologize for my earlier behavior. A most peculiar and irksome pest possessed me. I was not myself. But that business is done with now. The delicious aroma of that soup has restored me to my senses. I am the great spirit they call Levias. Before she passed from this world so long ago, the goddess Hylia appointed me as Warden of the Skies. And what do they call you, boy? Ah, Link, is it? A rather pleasing name, that. Your parents clearly have excellent taste in names. Hmm, you carry a curious sword, boy. And I sense a silent power dwelling somewhere in that little frame. Ah, I see it now. Link, you are the goddess's chosen hero. How interesting. I assume you've come to hear what I know of the Triforce. Actually, that's right. As I suspected. Listen closely and I will tell you. As you likely know, long ago, an evil force attempted to take the Triforce for his own. The goddess did everything in her power to prevent it from falling into his hands. For the safety of all things, she hid the Triforce somewhere within the rock you call Skyloft. However, its location has been kept secret. Even I do not know where it rests now. Oh, but the goddess didn't trust me with a hint as to the Triforce location. The clue is a song, meant to be played on the harp you hold. It is known as the Song of the Hero. The song is the key to revealing the secret location of the Triforce. The goddess split the song into four parts. She entrusted one part to me, and the other three to the dragons of the land. You must gather each of the parts of the Song of the Hero. Seek out the dragons and convince them to teach you their parts. When they've taught you what they know, come to me and I will complete the song with my own voice. The dragons can be found at Faron Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanayru Desert. Go on then, find the dragons you now seek. As you wish, Lord Commander. Alright, so yeah, we need to go back to all three provinces, seek out these dragons, which by the way, we've only ever seen the water dragon, and then convince them to teach us their parts of the songs, which uh, you wouldn't think would be that hard considering we're pretty much acknowledged as the hero already, but uh, yeah, sadly they're not just gonna give up their parts of the songs that easily, but um... Let's get started. We can leave the Thunderhead. Obviously, now it stopped raining here. You know, the weather is really nice, and uh, it looks pretty much like the rest of the sky, except that it's completely surrounded 
by clouds, which oddly enough does make it slightly harder to navigate because the islands are harder to see, but uh, that really shouldn't be that big of a deal. Like I was saying though, we need to go and visit all three provinces, and we will start doing that, but um, I kind of want to head back to Skyloft real quick. Oh, one thing I do want to mention is that um, someone in the comments told me that for 70 Gratitude Crystals, Batro will give you two Golden Rupees, so a total of 600 Rupees, although I'm not sure if I can believe that, considering the last comment told me that I could like spiral charge through tornadoes, and that proved to be completely false as well, so, I don't know, take that as you will. I'm gonna hold off on uh, going to pick that one up until a little bit later. But I do want to do one more thing, and this is something I've been talking about for a very long time. It's the infamous beetle cutscene, so, let's go and show this off, because I'll be honest, I kind of forgot about doing this until someone actually reminded me in the comments, so... We're going to do this right now and uh, get it over with. And I'm sure some of you guys will have a laugh, have a giggle, and uh, get a kick out of this. So we're going to go into Beetle Ship. And I believe all we really have to do to trigger this cutscene is uh, waste a lot of his time. So what do you say we just chat with our boy Beetle for a little bit? Want to know why I'm on a bicycle? Uh, sure, why not, dude? Aren't you a curious one? I pedal this bike to generate enough electricity to keep this place in the air. Plus, all this pedaling has got me in fantastic shape. Yep, I'd say my lifestyle is pretty eco-friendly, but uh, with you on board, there is plenty of extra weight, so I have to pedal as hard as I can. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to be rude. Please have a look around. I've got all kinds of great stuff. Alright, so, um, just to be safe, let's check out one of these items without actually buying it. Oh. Alright, so that right there is a bug metal. As long as you're carrying that, you'll be able to see on your map where bugs can be found. Bloody, bloody, blah. I really do not care. 1,000 rupees. I don't even have that many. So, of course, oh. I can't really buy that. Sorry about that, beetle. And, um, yeah, you can sort of see he's, like, sweating up a storm right now. So, um... We've probably wasted enough time, and uh, hopefully, if we leave, it should trigger the cutscene. Let's hope for it. Oh, oh please, wait a moment. Hi. Do you know how heavy you are? I have to pedal extra hard with you up here. Then you have the gall to leave without buying anything? Off with you! And yeah, there you go. Beetle has a trapdoor for customers who do not buy anything when they're aboard the shop ship, and he just sort of dumps you out back in Skyloft. Uh, kind of funny. So, there we go. We finally got the infamous Beetle cutscene out of the way. And with that, I think that's a good place to end off this video. So if you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.